comes as we have a very busy weekend in Stockton. Four major events will bring thousands to the area. ABC 10's Gabriel Porras is right in the thick of it all, and he joins us live now from the Asparagus Festival at the San Joaquin County Fairgrounds. Gabriel, I hear some intense music behind you. What's going on? Yeah, Laura, it is loud out here, it is energetic out here. This is Asparagus Alley, where over this weekend, more than 6,000 pounds of asparagus will be deep fried. You can see the work already underway by these volunteers here, but work is also underway around the city with all those major events colliding this weekend. It's before noon, but this Buddhist temple on Carpenter Road is already busy. Oh, this looks good. As Danny Cool and her family pick out their favorite dishes. Oh, there's so many food vendors, so many. And it's there's Cambodian ones, but there's also like different backgrounds and everything too. But definitely come for the Cambodian food. <laughs> the food and offerings are only one part of the five-day event for Danny and her family celebrating Cambodian New Year. I usually just come and just watch what my mom does, but this year I'm actually trying to be more hands-on. So every year we're just watching what our parents are doing, shadowing and just practicing so we can just pass on to our kids. Meanwhile, less than four miles away at the San Joaquin County Fairgrounds, Take everything out of your pocket, the gates are open and people are flooding in to celebrate one of San Joaquin County's most iconic crops at its annual festival. This is such a wonderful vegetable. It's so limited. It's only right now. There's only a certain kind of asparagus that grows out of our beautiful San Joaquin Valley dirt. And that wonderful vegetable is headed straight to the fryers here, cooked by a group of volunteers led by Julie Linesberg. This is an event that brings us together. I don't. I get to see people from um, groups that I work with only at this time of year. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. No problem. For Nicole Thrower, this time of the year gives her an excuse to look at the area and head to the Port City. People come from everywhere for the Asparagus Festival. I mean, it's the Asparagus Festival, and it's once a year. It'll be busy all weekend, but Sunday is the big day when the Asparagus Festival and Cambodian New Year Festival collide with the annual Sick Parade and Festival, expected to bring more than 20,000 people to the streets of Stockton. It's like just 24 hours in a day, so everybody gets to go wherever they want. You know, you spend a couple hours here, a couple hours there. Rice Howe is hoping people will continue supporting his small business at the Cambodian New Year Festival, just like last year. We had about like 40 to 60,000 people at one point on a Friday. But with that many visitors, he doesn't mind sharing the crowds. And neither does Julie. Weather's cooperating, and you know, Stockton has so many beautiful events in so many parts of the city. And you know, just come and enjoy. And you guys saw that work underway in my first live shot. Here's the final product there. A heart. I wish you guys could smell this. And I would bring some back, but I think it might not make the drive up to Sacramento. I'll eat an extra spear for you guys, though, Chris and Laura. Okay. Well, Gabe, thanks for keeping us in mind. If you change your mind and do want to bring some back, uh, I'll take mine wrapped in bacon, please. Uh, two orders. One for Chris, too. <laughs> Gabe, we have all that information on our website of all the events that you mentioned. That's on our website, abc10.com. Gabriel Porras, thank you.